Hi, so back with another video. I'm just going to do a little bit of reaction on an interview that DJ Drama did with Rory and Maul. So I'm going to do commentary in between. Um, so basically the whole concept is he's saying that he's talking about the Quentin Miller situation. We all know about the ghost writing situation. They mention how he believes everyone had a role in it. He mentions Drake had a role, Meek had a role, um, Nicki Minaj had a role, he mentioned he had a role, and he said there's so many more people in the industry who had a role. Um, later on, Mal talks about, or rather Rory asks about um, if Jay-Z had a hand in it, and DJ Drama didn't seem to like automatically go in and just say, no, he didn't. He kind of seemed to say, give me your theory. What are, you, what are you telling me? What are you thinking? Kind of like to say, let me see if you know what I know. So it kind of was insinuated that Drake had, um, he had kind of rubbed some people the wrong way. And it looked like people like Kendrick, you know Kendrick, he has an issue with Drake and um, Jay-Z. It's like they had felt that he had risen to stardom, but he wasn't really authentic because he wasn't writing his own raps. So it's kind of like he's flooding the industry, but dude, um, you are not on that level. So all this is allegedly, but it kind of makes sense because... We've seen Kendrick just doesn't mess with Drake. And he said he, he did mess with him at first. And then I think he just lost respect for him when he learned certain things. So apparently the industry was swarming and talking about how Drake doesn't write his raps way before. Um, and DJ Drama even mentions me could even tweeted about that about a month ago. About a month before it happened. So Drake was already aware that people knew. So it is um, pretty much like Quentin Miller got the butt end of it. And it, it is confirmed, though, that Drake was did have a ghostwriter and that he did love Quentin Miller's work. But at the end of the day, Quentin Miller really lost. So please go ahead and check out the full video. I'm just going to play that little clip where he said pretty much everyone was involved. So let's take a listen. It's water under the bridge, and everybody right. has made amends. Right. But yeah. also, you know, you know, my career thrived. Drake's career thrived. Meek went on to, you know, do his thing. And it's like, you know, Quentin was put in a situation where, you know, he, out of everybody, he he lost the most. And and I think handled it the best. <sighs> as far as public, let me put it like view. this. I, I don't know behind the scenes. And Quentin Miller... Publicly, I felt like Quentin minded his fucking business. And not only that, Quentin Miller didn't do anything wrong. And he's a talented, talented... Listen, very talented. listen, everybody did something wrong. Okay. Everybody. Quentin did something wrong. Mm. DJ Drama did something wrong. Drake did something wrong. Meek Mill did something wrong. Nicki Minaj did something wrong. Like, everybody played a role. And Ball we can sit here today and talk about it. And listen... Everyone I named, I love y'all to death. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I hope no one takes this the wrong way. And mm -hmm. again, it's water under the bridge. It, it went down. You know, it was a, it was a hip hop moment. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, it, it's hip hop history. And you know, like, there's a lot that I've, you know, I, those guys have have gotten to tell their true side of their stories. Like. You know, I've I've gone on Drink Champs. I've discussed it. Yeah. I've gone on Ebro. I've discussed it. Mm -hmm. Talked about it with Angie. I talked about it on Rap Radar. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can go through since 2015 and hear sound bites at various times of you know what, how I felt or what I've said. But there's also a lot, a lot that I've held back on sure. and haven't put out there. One day. Will it all make sense? Maybe, but you know, maybe some things are just left to be untold. You know right. what I'm saying? And you know, like every everybody played a role in how it went down. You know what I mean? So what we kind of forget, or maybe need to remember, is that um, 
There was a lot of talk about how Nicki Minaj actually played a huge role in making this situation elevate more than it should have. So it was said, allegedly, that she was instigating the whole thing between Meek and Drake. At that time, if you remember, she was dating Meek Mill, and her and Drake fell out. Of course, when he found out what she was doing, probably. Um, and for some reason, if you think about it, that was really evil of Nikki to do because... It's nothing that Drake had ever done to her but praise her and honor her for her to kind of go to that level where she instigates it. And she might have had an issue with maybe affiliations that he had. Because at that time, Nikki's very territorial. At that time, she was really territorial about who she associates with. She even um, cut off little Kim from Young Money because... There was a time, uh, Cash Money, Young Money, there was a time Little Kim was actually supposed to be signed to them. And then Nikki came in and said, if y'all got this lady here, I'm leaving. And at that time, Nikki had more bargaining and power. Little Kim had kind of taken some time away and um, she wasn't buzzing as high. She still had the respect of the industry, but she just wasn't buzzing as high. So it was very obvious that when Drake pulled back from Nikki, I think his his main aim was to show her that don't ever play with me again. And that seems to work because I, I noticed how Nikki behaves with Drake now is she's not looking to territorial. If you watch the some of the clips of the Young Money reunion, she kind of is like falling back. She's all the way at the back when the guys are performing. Um, she walked off stage without them. It kind of like she's more toned down. When she was with them way back, she was like looking like, you better watch it the ground I walk on. Anyway, make sure to go and check the full interview with a DJ Drama and Rory and Maul. I believe that Rory and Maul had the ability to ask more questions, in-depth questions, but they chose not to or they're just not too good at interviewing at that time because he really opened up an opportunity for them to ask more. So take a check, check it out. <laughs>